time is it? It's ToyCon TV time. And uh, wow, that was great. That was the first time you probably saw our opening uh, intro for ToyCon TV because this is tonight. Uh, the first night that we are actually uh, kicking it off with our official ToyCon TV jingle. And that was it. Thank you so much to... Uh, the, the dude who composed our ToyCon TV jingle, Enzo Mediavilio. Thank you so much for your jingle. And uh, that uh, video was uh, edited by my very own daughter, Arwen Malili. And I just want to give props out to my daughter. And of course, Enzo Mediavilio for uh, kicking things off uh, for our episode tonight. This is your weekly catch up with the local toy community and fandoms that love everything about toys and collectibles. And this is our way to keep the ToyCon community together, despite our being kept physically apart. And this is, of course, brought to you by ToyCon, the show that brings collectors together for almost two decades now. This is ToyCon TV, and welcome to episode 12. Good evening, and welcome back to ToyCon TV. My name is Cholo Malilian, uh, co-founder of ToyCon. And uh, today, uh, well, hopefully not a lot of you were misled by our title. No, BTS is not appearing on our show tonight. Hindi po yung BTS na yon. Except, well, uh, but the fact is, we are actually taking you behind the scenes, all right? So our title for tonight's episode is ToyCon Behind the Scenes, uh, staging the big show. This is June and this is ToyCon month, so we are actually going to uh, give you a lot of great memories of how ToyCon came to be. All right. Back in 2019, just last year, we actually came up with our own vision of what ToyCon should be. And there it is on the screens for you. What should ToyCon be for us, the community that has loved it for almost 19 years now? Well, ToyCon envisions itself to be the leading pop culture playground in the Philippines and in Southeast Asia that showcases Filipino creativity, innovation, and talent through toys, games, entertainment, and digital content all right and that is the way that is how we constructed um the the backbone of what toy con should be and how it will be different from the other shows that somehow you know uh came around during the time that toy con was already well into uh, uh almost its 19th year of uh, of being a great show all right and of course the mission that goes along next slide the mission that goes along with this vision statement is well as such okay for those of you who don't know we actually uh, envision ToyCon to be more than just an event, more than just uh, something that people go to, but actually it's a playground for everybody, for the inner child in you. So we wanted ToyCon to set the standard in Southeast Asia as the top of mind pop culture event to showcase toys from local and regional distributors, to build relations and collaborative efforts with the local and international toy communities, to offer unique, innovative, and impactful experiences to its audience through a family-oriented entertainment and merchandise, to preserve, promote Filipino culture and talent in the international pop culture landscape, to expand the ToyCon experience through collaboration with local and regional partners to execute the event outside NCR and to contribute through charitable initiatives to alleviate the cost of children in need. And this, this of course, does not come, you know, uh, without any experience in putting together an event like ToyCon, all right? So what we started off with, and this is what we're going to go through tonight behind the scenes of how we actually stage the big show, it all starts off with an empty space, all right? So this empty space that you see on this is what we actually, it, it's the palette. All right. It is uh, what we actually need to fill up to make ToyCon what it is. There you go. The second picture there. Uh, when people fill it up, it is after, uh, you know, almost months and months of preparation, almost a good deal of a year to get into preparing the big show. And tonight we're going to talk about how we exactly do we do that. All right. So, uh, well, the final slide for this uh, first presentation of mine. Yeah, next slide is basically how we've built ToyCon into an empty space, from an empty space, into spaces like these, all right? Spaces that you have enjoyed for the past 19 years, okay? So we will go back to Memory Lane, and we have some special guests for you tonight. So let's meet our guests for tonight. Uh, of course, my co-organizers for ToyCon, and uh, let me call on my co-host for tonight, Mr. Chris Castillo. Yes, my partner in crime to uh, introduce our guests. Okay, hello, Chris. Hello, good evening, everyone. Hello, Papatid, Cholo. And uh, you, as you said, you it's ToyCon month. 
I'm yes, good, I'm good. I'm wearing a very vintage Toycon shirt. As what is vintage Toycon? <laughs> this is, the, see? This is oh. the old the old logo, diba? Right? We're wearing our uh, yeah, so, ito, it says, this one says 2011. All wow, right. that's how far back yeah, you go, right. uh, diba, Chris? Yes, nice, nice. Yes. yes, so you did mention it is Toycon month. Yes, and so we're, we're since we can't bring you to SMX or you would usually have this, we'll bring Toycon into your homes through your screens, and we hope that you will enjoy this evening seeing how much hard work, how much challenges, and how much excitement actually there is in putting together Toycon for you, right? And as Jolo mentioned, we have yeah, yes, yeah, it's we going have with us fun tonight. Kasi parang mga tayo tayo eh. Parang barkada oh, to. Of people who actually yes. are work very hard behind the scenes to uh, make right. this show possible. Exactly, exactly. So uh, with us, are we? It's, it's a bit odd that we call them guests, but actually they, they're very much involved in all of these. But for tonight, let's treat them as guests, all right? And so up first is uh, uh, someone who has been hosting also our ToyCon TV shows. Uh, let's let's just jump to it, Mr. Orly Balisteros, Sir Orly. Yes. 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 Toy, toy con market. <laughs> Hello. Good evening. Yeah. First Hello, guest. Um, toy con family and our audience. Malamig salamat sa Excited to be uh, and weird feeling of being a guest of this show. <laughs> <laughs> weird. Guest ka ngayon. So mag 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 Happy Toycon month, Orly. Yes. Yeah, I'm wearing the first. So I'm wearing the first uh, Toycon t-shirt at SMX. Yes. Yeah. That was year two. That's 2017. Yes, yes. Oh, 2016 yung first ano natin, uh, SMX. Ano t-shirt natin doon? Pero, Ay, oo nga. Momentous pa rin yan. Momentous yes, pa rin yes. yan. Yes, yes. That was actually the first time okay, that we had a uh, parang an original artwork for our right. for our poster design, di ba? Very Voltus 5 pa rin. <laughs> yeah, no? Very Voltus 5. But that very, uh, well, I guess, apt yung pag-Voltus 5 ni Orly ngayon in the political climate. But we won't go into that. We won't go into that. Baka mag-brand tayong terrorist dito, ha? Baka biglang makat of air tayo. Huwag naman sana. We are, ano, patuwaan. Terrorists of joy. Yeah. Or bayers of joy. Correct. All right. So, of course, thank you, Orly, for guesting tonight. Uh, Wag na, na natin palabas yung Orly. Pasokin natin yung next guest. Pero uh, Orly, stay with us. Ha? Yes. So, yeah, yes. Let's go to our next guest. Uh, right. And, uh, and our next guest, well, we haven't seen him on ToyCon TV. No, but he's, when, when you are at the actual event of ToyCon, you really see him around uh, looking very debonair. You know, I might say very calm <laughs> despite all the stress that's happening. All right. We have with us Mr. EJ Zara, also known as Jing. Hello, friends. Hello. Hi. Oh, Tentay Tony, very debonair, very cool, <laughs> calm and collected. Yeah. Ang taas ng energy niyang tatlo, hindi ko kaya. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi ko naman sa iyo, di ba? May energy oh, tayo. Oh. Energy wow, level. Ang taas. Hindi ko kaya. Magandang gabi. Hindi ko kaya. Hindi ko kaya. Hindi ko kaya. Ang galing. Ang galing. How are you, Jay? I'm okay, I'm okay. Thank you, thank you for inviting me, ha. Salamat, salamat. I was saying, mat, 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 marami na tayong competition ngayon kasi marami nang nag-online shows. Okay? Tapos ngayon pa nag-start, di ba? Ngayon pa nag-start ang Kapamilya Channel. So kasabay natin ang Kapamilya Channel na ka-on-air. So kailangan high energy tayo para tayong mag-uro ng tao. Oh, important. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And yeah. just to, to, to complete our triumvirate of, of guests for tonight, no? so uh, the four of us here are usually part of the organizing group, no? but there's really nothing to organize if we don't have our partners with us. And so one of yes. our partners, someone you, whose uh, store you've probably visited both at Toycon and his other branches, right? We have with us tonight, Mr. Malvin Ang. 
Marvin Hi. Lim. Hello. Marvin, Marvin Lim. Lim. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Great Toy. Mr. Great Mar- Malvin, yeah. Malvin is uh, the founder and, uh, of course, uh, chief everything for Great Toys Online. Hello, Malvin. Hi, good evening to you and uh, everybody who is uh, watching this show now. Oh. Ayan. Sinabi si mo naman si Malvin ata, kailangan you know? may energy din siya, di ba? <laughs> Ay, Malvin, wow. kumusta naman? Ah, uh, okay naman. Siyempre, uh, living, uh, every one of us is uh, doing our best to to uh, remain calm and happy even with all the problems that uh, we are experiencing now with uh, GCQ. Of course, trying to still enjoy the hobbies that we love, which is just, uh, of course, the toys that we love so much. Yeah, all right. And then and if I may point out na si Malvin ay isa sa mga tao sigurong hindi gaanong lumusog. In, uh, actually, mas nag-slim <laughs> no? during the ECQ oh period. Good job. Hi, thank you very much. Okay, um, so we'll find out. Yes. Of course, uh, diet, then of course, uh, discipline, and so uh, control everything. Yeah. Yeah. Siguro binubuhat ni Malvin yung mga sock niya. Mabigat yan eh. Diecast. <laughs> <laughs> mga diecast na rin. So, pang diecast, okay. pang, pang weights. Alright, alright. It's great to have you, Malvin. Thank so, you. do stick around later on. Uh, ayan, maraming prizes si Malvin in store na ko. Siyempre, galing great no. toys. So, a lot of you guys do look forward to uh, the end of the show when we're going to give out some uh, great prizes courtesy of our guests. But in the meantime, let us stroll down memory lane. So isa-isain natin kayong lahat. Thank you. Uh, so let's start off with, uh, I guess, Orly. Orly. Uh, a lot of people are very curious how we do this. How do we actually put the show together? And Orly has been instrumental as our marketing uh, main marketing guy for for Toycon to actually look at you know the really the the framework, diba? How do we start things off? Because this Orly has been in the events business for the longest time, so he will kick things off tonight and tell us basically how we build Toycon from the ground up each and every year. All right, so uh, I guess with that, let's put on Orly and uh, see what uh, he will reveal in terms of his trade secrets. How do we put the show together? Take All it away, right. Orly. All right. Thank you, Sir Cho. Thank you, Chris. Uh, again, uh, good evening sa lahat ng mga nakikinig uh, uh, on this episode and happy to share to you my experience, our experience as one of the Toycon's uh, operations and marketing uh, uh, guy. Uh, first of all, uh, as a, for me, Toycon, uh, I started uh, to be involved sa Toycon talaga sa SMX. Sa mega trade events, I'm a visitor and sometimes uh a advice advice lang kay Sir Vicha. Uh, minsan kayo ko Sir Cholo. So that's my engagement. But when Toycon is already sa SMX 2016, doon ako naging involved sa Toycon uh, uh, sa organizing committee. And again, for me, Toycon is all about nostalgia. Sa akin, ano yan eh? Kahit na nabibili sa operational component, Toycon is about no- nostalgia and bringing in the experience sa mga attendees. And third, for me, Toycon is uh, aiming to make it as the best pop culture show in Asia. I've been in the exhibition business for 20 years plus and for me, Toycon is more than uh, where people gather and enjoy it. I want Toycon to represent our country and to make it as the best pop culture show in Asia. So next. And for me, uh, malalim yung pagmamahal ko sa Toycon, malalim, malalim yung meaning niya. So yung operation side of it, ang pinaka why ko, sabi nga ni Simon Sinek, what's your why? For me being part of the group, my why in Toycon is I want Toycon to be where Asia comes to play. Kumbaga, international visitors, international stars, toy designers, and other pop culture enthusiasts goes to the Philippines to enjoy Toycon. So every time we meet with the, the core group and some mga visitors and partners, ito yung nasa heart ko. I want Toycon to be uh, where people will come and where Asia would love to come to play. So next... 
Sorry, may eksi lang to. Of course, uh, the presentation is just short but sweet. So, so sabi ko nga, um, sa operation side ng Toycon, for example, uh, December, November, ang uh, ginagawa namin, nag-uusap na kami for Toycon sa June. So, for all of you who are interested to know gano'n katagal i-prepare Toycon, it's maybe one year. Kasi yung ibang concept, one year, pinag-uusapan na. Pero basically, uh, December, so seven months time ang binibigay namin uh, panahon para uh, gawin, uh, buuin yung recado, yung ingredients of a successful toy con. At pag nagsimula na yung January, February, ayan na yung puyatan namin. So yung mga pictures like we visit, ano si Quicks, no? sa picture we visit uh, a toy designer and some exhibitors orientation. Of course, ayan yung um, sa baba, no? si uh, Sir Jing, si Cholo, si Michael, uh, Sir Vic, uh, andyan sila because during that time, yun yung mga nag-meeting palagi, paano i-conceptualize yung execution ng Toycon. So, normally, gabi kami nag-meeting and sa sobrang traffic, uh, I recall, palagi na lang kami umuwi ng 10 to 11 o'clock, no? yung iba. <laughs> Tapos, pag na-extend pa yun, because mag para kumain, uh, kami nila Sir Vic, mga uwi kami ng mga 12. Yan na yung max namin. But, pag malapit na yung event, of course, halos wala ng tulungan. So, yung pre-event is more of meetings and coordinations with partners because I have my team there and maraming tao talaga. So Toycon is like a child and it takes a child, it takes a village to raise a child. So for me, yun yung concept ko na maraming meetings talaga. Ultimo sponsors and exhibitors na kailangang i-convincehan to join Toycon. I really need to uh, to uh, really talk to them, converse with them. And of course, Louis is watching. And Louis Tan is one of our go-to guy in terms of uh, part ng core to really create uh, the experience na, which is called again Toyco. Next. Ayan. So I uh, guess maraming meeting, pero all of the meetings, all through the years, lalo na sa SMX, I've learned, uh, ang tawag ko ron ay voice of the customer or voice of the attendees. So marami ako naging kaibigang attendees, marami ko complaint we were able to uh, refine the attendees experience one concrete example is part of attendee experience una po we have to meet with the uh, police we have to meet with the medics bombero mini meeting natin yan para of course uh, to avoid any untoward incident na handa tayo so ngayon siguro pag matuloy ang toy ko meron na rin tayong DOH kasi health kailangan na because social distancing kasi pwede pa naman eh uh, pinag-uusapan pa, baka matuloy pwede pang magkaroon ng events uh, sa quart last quarter of the year. So after meeting that, of course, City Hall ng Pasay, we meet that, we meet them, and then we go to the venue, yung uh, SMX security, and all their staff, we meet with them, and para lang talaga yung safety and security nyo as an attendee is uh, fully prepared, no? walang toward incident. And yung isang voice of the customer na naalala ko is normally bago kami mag-open sa first day uh, is uh, 10 o'clock or tama ba 10 or 11 o'clock kami mag-open. Of course, mainit yung uh, araw sa labas. Bawal kayo pumasok sa lobby. Yun yung first toy code 2016. And may mga complaints doon. We are, through the years, we were able to adjust. Pinapasok namin kayo sa loob. Because we listen to you. We care, to, we care for your uh, experience. Kaya hindi na kayo nainitan, hindi na kayo nauulanan. Pwede na kayong pumasok during that time. Hopefully naalala nyo yun, no? na pwede kayong pumasok na maaga uh, kahit na hindi pa open yung show. So again, uh, through the years also, yung line, for me, I hate uh, I hate queues. I hate uh, falling in line, that long lines. We were we tried to eliminate it, but since marami talaga pumunta sa Toycon, uh, so far, ang masasabi ko lang, compared to other shows, hindi kayo umaangal sa pila ng matagal because we set up a lot of uh, counters for you to be able to uh, get your tickets and enter as fast as you can sa loob to enjoy Toycon uh, shows no, na nagaganap. So for us, for me, the preparation again revolves at safety, security, and attendees experience because yung other teams, like yung program na mamaya, we discuss ni Sir Jing or ni Sir Cholo, 
are they are the one taking care of it. But of course, another thing, next. Yan, habang uh, naghihintay tayo, no? After attending experience, kasi importante yan, eh, no? yung makikinig ka sa mga tao. So, nakalabog ako doon. Uh, sa akin, yung, yung isang highlight ng toy ko na inaalagaan ko is showcasing Filipino art toys designer na nagsimula, I don't think last year ba nagsimula to, the, the other year. Kumbaga, kasi um, uh, I'm a student of an industry. Ang, ang, yung bigger picture na sinasabi ko rin pa minsan-minsan sa grupo, sa Toycon uh, core group, is that we're this is a show where we can showcase another industry to grow that industry. That is the creative industry. And part of the creative industry is the Filipino art toys designer. Kasi sa mga iba, like sa anime, tayo gumagawa ng mga animation, tayo nag-drawing, pero outsource lang tayo, wala tayong sariling brand. So for me, it hurts a lot kasi yung nakikinabang doon, yung nag-create ng concept, which we can do that. No? Yung tayo, yung guma, kaya natin gumawa ng concept. And tingin ko, ang possible dyan is yung art toy scene na part ng toy con. No? Let's, uh, kagaya neto, si Quix, I'm, I don't know, I don't want to claim, tingin ko, uh, toy con is responsible for the for the boom or for the awareness, increased awareness of Tech 63, no? Si Tech. And of course, there's Crayon Chicken and Wetworks they are Filipino talents that we try to highlight sa Toycon. And I'm excited to embrace other Filipino talents na pag yan dumami, lalaki yung creative industry natin. Of course, pag lumaki yung creative industry, mas mahal yung value nila. So ma mas makakatuloy yun sa economy ng Pilipinas. Second is our hospitality. So yung mga international guests, we treat them as our talagang guest talaga sa bahay and like we coordinate with the, our government, for example, Tourism Promotions Board, sabi nga ng mga toy designers, uh, lahat ng na-invite sa kanilang mga uh, iba-ibang countries, sa Pilipinas lang nila naranasan yung hospitality na tanging Pilipino lang ang kayang magbigay. And sa ToyCon, we were able to showcase that. And again, uh, that what makes uh, me excited na yung uh, word of mouth ng mga guests nating international when they go home to their country they highly recommend going back to the Philippines. And for me, that's a big win, not only for Toycon, but para sa ating bansa. So next. Yan. So wait, sila ng presentation. So you see the attend experience, the numerous meeting and plannings. And again, ang focus ko lang talaga is you experience to mga international guests and to represent our hospitality to sa mga guests na yon. For me, I just like to highlight this one. Para sa akin, this is this will be my money shot forever sa Toycon. Regardless kung simula nung unang Toycon o maaten pa lang ako, hanggang yung mga iba bang Toycon, this is the money shot because uh, uh, a trivia is that Baltus 5 at ako ay isa kasi parehas kami ng birthday. June 4 ang birthday ni Baltus 5. June 4 din ang birthday ko. So every time I celebrate my birthday, we are celebrating Baltus 5's birthday sa June 4, 1977. Ako, June 4, 1973, mas matanda ako kay Baltus 5 ng konti, no? Ng four, four years. Pero, yun sa akin na memorable. So, forever, Baltus 5 and me are connected. And again, sabi nga kanina earlier ni Chris sa pre-event or pre-live broadcast, Baltus 5 is very relevant today. I don't want to be political, but again, we, Baltus 5, uh, is a uh, symbol for activism. And I'm an activist. I'm a, so sa akin, ganun kalalim yung meaning ni Baltus 5. Not only as a, a child's toy, but a symbol of freedom dito sa ating bansa. So next. Again, has, are, okay, next. Um, so ito yun. Ayan. I just want to end this uh, presentation kasi nga, uh, eto, uh, kailan ba to? Is this the first, Sir Cholo? I don't know. It's, I think this is the first where we invited Stan Lee doon sa likod niya kasi Stan Lee Museum and sa akin, eto, nag-jump shot ako kay Hulkbuster during that time. Pero every time I I join the, the guys and the girls of ToyCon, it reminds me na bata ako forever. Sabi nga nung mission natin to be an 
to be uh, to provide a playground to the inner child and talaga naman dapat dahil sa creative industry tayo lahat there are no sabi nga dito there are no seven wonders in the world in the eyes of a child there are seven millions so seven million wonders so for me toycon is uh i work hard for toycon because i love toycon at the same time it stimulates my inner child and that's why i know if you have passion tapos si pinreset mo sa mundo may chance yung toycon to be really the playground of Asia, and we really work hard for it. Uh, in a nutshell, in summary, for me, Toycon is a lot of meetings, a lot of uh, meshing of all creative ideas, na iba't ibang mga tao na involved sa pop culture ng Pilipinas, and that for you is Toycon. So that ends my presentation. I hope kahit may iksi lang yun, nakita niyo kung ano yung uh, parang patikim na process sa loob ng pre-event ng Toycon. Sir Chola and Chris? Maraming wow. salamat, Sir go. Orly. Parang wow. kailangan talaga that deserves applause. Ganda ang ganda, Orly. I think you were able to capture really the essence of uh, ToyCon and how we originally envisioned it and actually how we grew it, di ba? Importante na we should also see na this, this, this uh, event that we have did not just, you know, uh, come up suddenly, di ba? As biglang, ayan na. Uh, tas ginagaya na yung formula natin all throughout the years. Every right. year, we we always made it a conscious decision for our team to always improve on the year before. And that's why we've always somehow set been able to set the bar high for the other events. So, I you think, know, uh, listening to your presentation, talaga nakakaantig na marinig yun. Ang add ko lang, Sir Cholo, tingin ko ang, ang what makes this group compared to other competition, like yung nawalang, yung nawalang competitor natin dahil marami siyang problema. Remember? Hindi <laughs> ko naman pamitin yung pangalan nun. Kasi it was uh, the, the why of that uh, that event. I think, ah, case study ko sa marketing eh. Kasi gusto niyong kumita. Why you're yeah. here, yung mga, yung group as a group, each shared the passion of collecting toys or pop culture or Sabi natin may geek, 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 is, geeky talaga yung mga tao or mga nerdies talaga tayo, yung iba. So pag nagsama yun, talagang, of course, yung munang passion, yung why, di ba? What's your right, why right. In, in creating that? that? I think, for me, that's what makes uh, being part of a group enjoyable. At the same time, uh, a really good experience for me as an events organizer in 20 years, ha? So I really love that this stop of talk. So I miss it. I miss it badly talaga. Oh, yeah. a lot of people miss it. I'm glad yeah. that you pointed that out because that was really never our bottom line. From the start, ToyCon was not an event that we put on para kumita kami. It, the bottom line was really we wanted to put to bring together a community of people who are like-minded, who loved uh, collecting, uh, who loved pop culture. And that was really the bottom line for us, Timo. Just build a place where people can come together and just enjoy being with each other, enjoy being in an environment that was full of everything that they love. Diba? Yeah. So, Galing. Yes. And one thing I'd like to, to point out again uh, to our our listeners, our viewers, uh, none of these came single-handedly. No? Parang Justice League or para Avengers, people had to assemble to make the mission happen. No? Uh, yung nasabi nga ni Orly, late nights, although later nights, iba na yung ginagawa ni Orly. <laughs> kumakain daw. Kumakain. No? Kumakain na. Okay. Kumakain. Ano yan? Actually, yung pinaka-relax natin were, were during the the night time of the event itself. Eh. Talagang the days leading up to the event, yun yung mm. pinaka-hectic, pinaka-toxic yeah, for us. Pero yeah, during yeah. the event, pag nakikita na natin na people were enjoying, people were, you know, uh, were uh, buying, and people were, di ba, taking pictures. Wala na, relax na kami. Parang uh, we, we, we did the job, eh. Yeah, so, yeah. magalaw na siya. It, it moves on its own yeah. na, no? But... But again, I'd, I'd like to point out like, again to our listeners, the the dream of ToyCon is to be more regional, not just local, right? To really share to the Southeast Asian region the love, the, the passion, and the talent of the Filipino. So kudos to right, right. those. Thank right. you, Arlie. Right. I think our Thank next you. guest will have a whole lot more to share about this aspect. Mm -hmm. that uh, and you know these very rich uh, values that we try to espouse with uh, the ToyCon event. Again, let's bring him on. All right. Again, we have Mr. 
Mr. Cool Cat himself. Mr. He's my DJ boss. Zara. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Nakwento mo nga. Hello, DJ. Ayan, ayan. Ay, ako sa night, Cholo. Pero okay lang. <laughs> <laughs> ayan, excited ako sa mga isu-share mo. Because Jing, I mean, EJ is really our programs guy. He's the guy behind the mm -hmm. scenes keeping the show together, the real, you know, the heart of the show, which is, you know, the, uh, managing the talents, yeah, right. managing the sequence of the program and all of that. So I, I'm excited to see what you have to share for us tonight, EJ. So let's hear it. Thank you, Chalo. Thank you, Chris. And uh, I'd like to share um, also my story to everybody. And I'd like to thank uh, ToyCon PH, uh, of course, for uh, um being a guest here is uh, actually very, very, it's a, it's a privilege. It's a privilege actually for me. Uh, I know na siguro at, at about this time, very busy na kami in staging the big show, but uh, a lot of, a lot of it really is hard work. So um, I'll talk about staging the big show. So next slide, please. So my name is, uh, my name is Jing Zara uh, here at ToyCon. I still use my old name, Jing Zara, because this is the name I carry when I am with family. And uh, ToyCon is actually really uh, like a family to me. And uh, I am here because of the friendships and, of course, the camaraderie uh, I am blessed with in this community. Um, I am a uh, professional in events. You know? So events ang aking... Uh, experience before but when i was transitioning from one job to another before uh in invite ako ni Cholo to actually um baka pwede akong tumulong sa kanila sa toycon and i actually really thought about that because uh medyo serious kasi yung personality ko eh hindi ako masyadong playful although of course i know na very colorful yung toycon yung experience ko talaga in staging events i very corporate you know? and uh Parang sinabi ko sa sarili ko, sige, gagawin ko to because of friendship. Because Chola and I have been really good friends since, since uh, a long time ago. Next slide, please. So, first thing that I'd like to discuss would be what I like about staging the big, the big show. No? Um, and uh, along the years, parang what's not to like about it? What's not to like about it at all? So... Uh, I, I remember this, no, this quote, and I keep uh, actually bumping into this quote, no, parang sinasabi dito, we don't stop playing because we grow old, no, we grow old because we stop playing, and at this particular age, uh, where a lot of us actually are already maturing, parang ang weird lang, no, na we're still at this, we're still here at ToyCon and organizing a toy convention such as this one. I'd like to share with you some of the things that uh, we need to remember when sharing or when staging the big show rather. So the first thing that I'd like to share um, in terms of staging this show is wala talaga siyang template. There's really no template for this event. Year after year, ToyCon is very unique. Uh, no matter how I try to organize it, talagang hindi siya naka-template. No? And even if I put a structure to it, Talagang naturally, it's just really a, a lot of things going on. And you just have to really meander you, your way towards it, no? Uh, through it rather, no? So talagang wala siyang template. Unlike other events na may template, no? Uh, ito talagang walang template. And uh, one of the things that I needed to change in terms of my mindset is that uh, when I enter and stage this big show, it has to be uh, a play mindset. Hindi dapat ito work mindset. Kailangan yung mindset ko is this is playing. I am actually uh, doing an event that is about play. And because it is about play, I need to also be ready to get my hands dirty. And what does that mean? No? So... I'm directing the stage, I'm directing programs, I'm running around, no? Uh, kahit, kahit yung pag-aasikaso sa guests, I do. Pagbibigay ng food, I do. Hindi pwedeng hindi ka madumihan. You need to, you need to be ready to get your hands dirty because uh, this, is, this is actually 
uh, something that I think is very unique about this toy convention. Talagang wala siyang structure and it's really uh, free flowing. Next slide, please. And the big concept actually is uh, we are staging the biggest playground. The biggest playground in Asia. And yung concepts, and yung concept na yan, kailangan ilagay ko sa isip ko every time I am uh, in this in this uh, mindset that we are staging the biggest playground. And why am I even talking about this big concept? Next slide, please. Because like any other event, uh, meron siyang mga challenges. No? There are a lot of challenges involved in uh, staging this uh, big event. No? And as Superman quotes, uh, sabi ni Superman, I think a hero is an ordinary individual who finds strength to persevere and endure in spite of the overwhelming obstacles. No? And I'd like, to, I'd like to share some of the kryptonites in staging the big show. Number one, the, the venue is really huge, you know, especially when we transferred to SMX. Talagang, it was overwhelming. I mean, I really got overwhelmed. I think the first year that we staged uh, ToyCon is in SMX after the three-day event, I, I really got sick because I was running all over the place and I was getting my hands dirty in all the things that I had to do. And the venue was really huge and I was not getting any younger during that time. And aside from the fact that the venue is huge, there are there were a lot of things going on. You know? uh, and, and when I say there are a lot of things going on, because it's a playground, uh, ang daming mga elements that you have to really be... Uh, kailangan inaasikaso mo sila. You, know? you have to be able to be mindful of each one of them because we want to make as many people happy. And when we talk about many people happy, you know, not just, you know, that person. Itong mga nasa ToyCon, may mga alter egos pa to eh, di ba? May mga cosplayers pa to, may mga uh, iba't ibang mga personalities, iba't ibang mga mindsets. And we want to make many people happy. We want to make the sponsors happy. We want to make the uh, uh, our partners happy. We want to make the exhibitors happy. We want to, the food concessioners happy. We want to have all the visitors happy, all the guests happy. And because we want to make as many people happy, yun yung mga struggles namin along the way. You know? But why did I stick it out with them? Because, because there are a lot of favorite moments you know, that I'd, I'd like to share. And maybe later uh, when Cholo comes back and uh, Orly and of course Chris comes back. You know? um, Maraming mga favorite moments. That's why I'm sticking it out with, with these guys. And I'd like to end with this quotation. Next slide, please. No. Itong quotation na to is something that is very close to me. Uh, ito si C.S. Lewis. Now, friendship is born at the moment when one person says to another, what, you two? I thought I was the only one. And the, the thing that I found in Toycon really and my favorite, favorite, I think, part of it is really the friendship. Right? It's really the friendship. Uh, I, I can't, I can't, I, I won't trade the friendship that we have, like in Toycon. And I, I get emotional every time I, I talk about it. And we've grown um, all together in this. Uh, and I'm sure we got each other's backs. And it, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. So. Thank you. This is the end of my presentation. Shala and Chris. And uh, medyo. <laughs> Nakamute ako. Yay! Dapat marinig mo. Uh, I am so happy. Uh, <laughs> there is a joy. EJ as Jing. Um, parang, parang hindi ka, you didn't share uh, as many memories, although later, mamiya, when we do my, my slides, uh, yeah. time we have memories together, but I, I'm glad that you actually were able to share the heart of you know what makes this this non-templated event work each and every year. Each and every year we actually surprise ourselves, and I'm sure Chris, <laughs> ayan, parang medyo bata pa sa, sa organization, pero you you actually uh, 
experience this yeah, uh, yeah. from the, the long nights of planning. Now, when we get to the event itself, there are things that surprise us. But parang oh. natin, at the end of it, at the end of it all, nasabihin natin, ang, ang tanong natin is, paano natin nagawa yun? Paano natin nagawa yun? After yung three days na yun na ganun lumabas, ganun na kinalabasan. Ako, we're gonna have so much fun reminiscing later on. Pag uh, balikan natin yung, at yung, 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 I prepared some slides of just the the four years that we had in in SMX, you know, what more the the, the years that we had in Mega, you know, in Mega Mall. Yeah, nanunod si Abby Torres of uh, SM Mega Mega Trade Halls. Hi Abby. Uh, hi, Abby. All right, marami kaming uh, memories to reminisce about. Pero you know, just in the last few years, there there's just a a, a tremendous amount of uh, uh, work and uh, camaraderie that went to. Uh, you know, was invested really in putting the big show together. Thank you, EJ. Thank you, Jing. That was really heartfelt. Yes. Thank you also. And, and what I'd like to, to highlight, I guess, no, to our audience is that um, while ToyCon has that feel of, of, of parang structure or feel of uh, even order. Uh, order and business, <laughs> no? Um, like like what Jing pointed out, actually, it's a very soulful thing for a lot of the, the, the people at the back. No? Uh, and then it's that soulfulness that actually pulls through with energy throughout the, the long nights. No, we all lose our voices after Toycon. Uh, oh, that's true. Diba? 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 And but but the, the heart, the heart really is the one that keeps us going. And and uh, having worked with Jing in, in particular right now, no? let's highlight Jing. Uh, and what I'd like to point out to all our guests about Jing because you don't see him around too often. Really, he's a cool cat, no? You can see his focus, but you can also see his, ano, his, uh, uh, ano it? Equanimity. <laughs> Big word. Yes. Or grace under pressure. Yan yan talaga grace sa, under pressure. Embodies, embodies Jing, di ba? Uh, oh. You cannot imagine the amount of stress that he has. Yung sinabi niyang nilalagnat siya during yeah. the event. Every year yan. Hindi lang, hindi lang nangyari once and every year. Talaga, meron talagang dahilan para lagnatin siya <laughs> during the event. Ayan, di ba? So, really amazing, amazing work that you do for us each and every year. So, again, later Thank on, mas mag-remedy tayo, Jing. Thank you talaga. Tama ka. Hearts, hearts. All right. Hearts, hearts. So, uh, uh, okay. our last guest for today, mm -hmm. uh, he's going to give us a unique perspective on the toy con because he is uh, not an, an organizer, uh, you know, per se, but uh, he organizes his own pocket of the toy That's con, right. the exhibit of Great Toys. All right, Great yes. Toys has been, been a partner of Toy Con since time and memorial. I think even from the uh, the first few years that we had in uh, SM Mega Mall, diba? Malvin mm -hmm. has been there and his team has been with us. His toys have been with us because he is the uh, distributor of Bandai, of uh, Good Smile, a lot, of the, a lot of these great brands that we feature, right. we highlight in Toy Con. No? And Malvin has also brought in some international personalities, uh, some very important people from Bandai uh, visited Toy Con in the last uh, two years that we had it. Uh, and it was through Malvin and through Great Toys that we were able to, uh, you know, give this uh, international flavor ikanga, to Toy by bringing in uh, some uh, some of his foreign partners. So, uh, without any further ado, Chris, do the honors. All right. So again, ladies and gentlemen, we have with us one of the biggest exhibitors in, in ToyCon, uh, Great Toys, of course. And we have with us Mr. Malvin Lim. Salamat, Malvin, for joining us. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me uh, to this uh, tonight's show. All right. So, okay, so you, take us you remember, story, yeah. Alvin, how long have you been with ToyCon? I, I'm pretty sure you've been with us almost from the start. Yeah, actually, I joined ToyCon the very first ToyCon in 2001 or is it 2002? The 2002. Very first uh 2002 actually actually my um my shop or company was actually formed in toycon it was formed like a month before toycon one of the organizers toycon approached me and told me hey me and my friends were we want to do a toy show would you like to come then i said oh yeah oh i would like to join the the toy show then we were thinking of a, a shop name then later the, the, we thought of uh, having it named Great Toys. 
So the actually the great uh, the the business and the shop Great Toys was uh, created mainly for ToyCon. Actually, that's the main story. Wow! Wow! Uh, All right. So the sa, sa ToyCon pala nabi niya gan. <laughs> In a sense, oh, Great Toys. What what a that's amazing. All right. So please do do share with us the rest of your story uh, with ToyCon. So ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Malvin Lim. Yeah, so basically I prepared the slide. So I'd like to give everybody a, a more idea of what we do to, um, to organize and um, prepare for, uh, for ToyCon. Hold on. Uh, hmm. can, can I share yung sa screen pa na lang, said? I think because this one said missing the log. Ah. There you go. Uh, we'll make do until such time that your presentation conks out on us. Pero sige, let's start off lang siguro, Malvin. Uh, just take us through your, your slides. Yeah, can you see? Yeah, we can see it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, basically, preparing for ToyCon. So, basically... Great Toys distributes a lot of the major Japan, uh, Japanese, American, and Asian brands. Bandai, Good Smile, Max Factory, Happy Japan, Heartstorm Future, and a lot more. So these are some of the older photos of um, some of the exhibits that we had uh, long ago. This was uh, uh, dated 2002. Over the years, we were able to um, invite a lot of the international brands into uh, to display some of their uh, samples and products at ToyCon. So some of the brands, example, would be the Bandai Group, which includes Bandai Collectors Division, Tamashii Nations, Banpresto, Mega House, other Japanese brands like, example, Good Smile Company, Sentinel, Max Factory, and more. So over the years, we have also teamed up with a lot of the international brands to promote their products as well as their concepts and ideas. An example here is Hobby Japan promoting the Seven Deadly Sins animation. Uh, this part of their uh, Amakuni product line, which is actually their figure line. Hobby Japan is a magazine, is a Japanese magazine which focuses on the toy hobby and toy collecting but they also have their own um, special product line called Habi Japan Amakuni. So that's the reason why it was featured in ToyCon. So another example, Habi Japan, they also had uh, Bikini Warriors, which is also another animation, which they promoted uh, a few years back here in the Philippines at some uh, specific events. First, I would like to thank everybody who visited the Great Toys booth at Philippine Toy Con mm -hmm. for the past year. Here we have um, some photos, for example, Good Smile Company booth, Bandai Collectors Division Tamashi Nations booth, Banpresto, and XM Studios. So here are some other examples of booths and um, displays that we have prepared over the years. So there's also Sentinel, Copic, then there is a Mega House. Then, of course, uh, for every booth, we bring in samples, displays, prototypes, as well as um, have specials for our customers, special promotional items, product ex uh, event exclusives. Normally, for uh, for us to prepare for an event like ToyCon, we need as long as a year before the event to start preparing for uh, ToyCon. So, example is uh, just an example of a timeline, specifically of how uh, we organize uh, the boot setup and everything. Normally, we prepare at least a year before the event. 
we would contact the international brands to invite them to come to Philippine ToyCon. So of course we would present we would present them with um, information as well as um, some photos of the events and of course to to tell them the main advantage of um, of joining ToyCon. Normally it's six months to one year in advance because we need a lot of preparation and and a lot of scheduling ahead of time. Normally, we would discuss with the international brands at, normally on the start of the year, normally in um, end of end of the year, December or January, because of course that uh, during that time the manufacturers would plan more or less for the whole year what would they be attending. That includes, for example, ToyCon, San Diego Comic Con. Um, and other major events worldwide. Of course, we would also need to get approval from the manufacturers because, of course, they need to allot resources, man, uh, manpower, artists. They also need to schedule, example, the samples as to how the samples will be. Because normally, like prototypes, one then they sometimes they only have one piece or a few pieces of samples only available and they have to return it back to the factory so they would also need to get approval from example the the designing group ahead of time so they would need to schedule ahead of time who where the sample would be passed to example it would go to japan for february then go to hong kong on march then go to thailand on april then on June, it goes to ToyCon in the Philippines. Then on July, it goes to San Diego Comic Con. So things like this, we need to plan with the manufacturers as much as a year ahead of time. Also for exclusives, we also need to discuss with the manufacturers ahead of time as they need to get approval from example, the licensor. Example, they are going to make this um, Gundam camper figure in a special color. So they need to get approval from Gundam licensor whether it is approved to be sold in the in Philippine Toy Con. So and then they also have to design the box and also start manufacturing the product. So that's also the reason why exclusives has to be planned ahead of time. If we will be having foreign guests at the event we also need to at least a year ahead uh, book their their busy schedule so that they would be able to come and enjoy um, the hospitality here in the philippines so example is uh, we, uh, i would go to uh, bandai or maybe example good smile to talk to the marketing managers as well as the, the officers ahead of time to discuss and plan ahead. Normally, manufacturers would plan and schedule the event example for Philippines. The, for this year, the, there was a plan to have Evangelion 2020 at Philippine Toy Con because they would like to coincide the anniversary event together with Toy Con to further enhance and promote both the event, ToyCon, as well as the IP, intellectual property, which is Evangelion 2020. For last year, Philippine ToyCon, we were promoting Bandai Gundam products at the Bandai Collectors Division Tamashii Nations event, mainly because of the 40th anniversary of Gundam. So this is also the reason why we have to plan everything six months to a, to a year ahead of time. So step two, eight months before the event, we would start discussion with the organizer on available booth space. So we would um, get their approval first on possibly more or less how much space we would be needing, more or less as the direction, the space, as well as the the shape of the booth that we and space that we would be needing. Of course, sometimes organizer would request some sort of deposit. So of course, that depends on the organizer. 
we get information on partners of the events example the location security contractors of course we as there are a lot of people involved to make toycon successful so to make it even more successful it will be best for us as the exhibitor to um, coordinate with all the partners involved in uh, toycon to make it to make both the boot setup and the event as smooth as possible so after we are able to secure uh, the space we will need to start discussing with our uh, with the contractor boot builders material supplier necessary equipments to reserve and plan everything ahead of time So step three, five to seven months before the event, we would reconfirm with the international brands on the team, motive, characters. Of course, we would present them that this is the boot space that you uh, that the brand manufacturer requested and Toycon has approved the, the space. So the first thing that we would need to request from the manufacturers are um, data, logo, concept, idea, themes, and motive. An example would be like the XM logo. There we have two examples of XM logo, both the white logo and the black logo. So example for this year, if XM Studio decides that their, their event, their booth would be more of a black theme, so we would be using the white logo. If they decide it this year to be a very bright booth, so maybe we would decide to use the black logo. So we need to plan, uh, plan well with the manufacturers as well as the international brands on the team and the motive. So an example, as I mentioned a while ago, for, two, uh, for 2019, we, per, we had the Gundam universe motive for Bandai Collector's Division Tamashi Nation. So the boot was more of a white theme. So we had to use, we had to plan on which which version of the logo to use. For like here we used the Tamashi Nation's logo on white background. An example of a theme Tamashi Nations had for a few years ago was um, they were promoting the Tamashi Nation's quality patch. I think this was in 2018. So the banner is, is different and this is the concept that they wanted to push for the year. So it really depends on the manufacturer on their decision on which team for the year. So we slowly start to plan on the boot layout, the boot setup. Like here's an example of Good Smile Company's boot. We would plan more or less the the which of the characters and the color team and the design that we would be planning. Of course, this is an initial draft. So so slowly, as we uh, as the date go nearer and nearer to Toyko, we would fix the we will fix and continuously improve on the boot design until the boot design will be perfect and all the parties involved are happy with the design so here's another example where we have the tamashi nations boot as well as the xm studios boot so there would be a draft of where possibly where the where the tables would be located as well as the stands the meeting tables if any and where the position of the logos so at least the logos and the images at least the artists can start designing the images and logos ahead of time so step four two to four months before the event we would request final boot design approval for, uh, with multiple parties. So that includes the organizer. We have to ask them approval whether they they accept the boot design. We have to check with 
the manufacturer or international brand whether they're also happy uh, with the boot design then also we also need to check with the licensor this is a very critical um, issue as we we are using um, license in, license internet uh, intellectual properties so later we, i'm going to show you some samples of of um, images and material and data that we need to have approved with the licensor. Of course, if there's any adjustment necessary, we would need to slow, uh, we would need to adjust and keep on improving on the boot design. And then we also need to uh, have final boot design with the contractor. Also, final approval with regards to example printing of materials like here's an example of a flyer from good smile company which which was uh, what are figmas easy to pose and faithful to the original so we have to have these uh, flyers print run with uh, with a printer so it would take at least a month sometimes even two months to have flyers and posters printed ahead of time we also need to start planning on example diorama sample and display product displays ahead of time so at least we could contract uh, companies to manufacture example the glass display cases as well as the dioramas and the mountains and uh, the stands and etc we also start needed to start planning on example the manpower needed for an event that include example um, manpower for our guests manpower for example our cosplayers we also need to start planning on transportation for both our equipment as well as our manpower an example is habi japan amakuni we ha uh, we had to plan ahead of time with the cosplayers with regards to their costume, their needs, their, uh, their um, weapons. We have to fabricate the weapons two, three, four months ahead of time. We need to secure some of the, some of the equipment that they need, example, the wigs and other materials. We need to prepare, example, the display cases. We have to contract uh, boot build um, the display case uh, manufacturers. The display cases, we need to have them approved with the manufacturers. Are they happy with the design, the color, the style, and the lighting? Sometimes the designs are coming also from the international manufacturer. They will provide us the data and ask us to, to contract a local company to manufacture the case designs so they would be exactly the same for all distributors worldwide the bikini warriors example this one the the standee we had to had the standee manufactured ahead of time here's an example of an image that we have to have the licensor approved so we have an image from Mega House. We have Dragon Ball, Naruto, One Piece, and Sword Art Online. We have to check with the licensor whether it is okay for them to have one image side by side with another brand. Some, some licensors may not agree to this idea. So it's a case-to-case -case basis. So it is best for us to check with them ahead of time. An example of uh, license or requirement is example the use of the One Piece logo. If you notice here on the right side, we have One Piece logo in different styles. We have one in, with a Japanese uh, text on top, another one with a Shonen Jump uh, logo, and another one has a different color scheme. So some uh, manufacturers will provide us the data and as and the data is raw Japanese data. So we need to change the logo 
to example, the international logo of One Piece. So you notice on the image here, the One Piece logo does not have the Japanese text. It is slightly, slightly different design. So after we finish the logo, we also check the copyright information on the lower left or the lower right of the image and make sure that there is no mistake when it comes to the image, like the image is stretched, the image uh, is pixelated, or maybe some characters that cut the, the image cut of the, the character image does not look good. Like some licensor are not happy with the image. Example, the, if it was like Batman, the logo of Batman on the chest would be cut in the middle the the licensor won't be happy with it so these things we have to be careful and also have the licensor check ahead of time so here's an example of mega house one piece portrait of pirates data provided to us by mega house the we had to convert the japanese text to english text for philippines as well as change the one piece logo into the international logo then we add we added the mega house logo as per request as well as change the japanese copyright information into english copyright information which we you can see here clearly be, below the pop logo we also need to provide more additional information to the uh, to the contractor to, to so that they would further improve on the design and not miss out on certain uh, details like example for this one for good smile we requested that the logo be in boats then we requested diamond patterns on the sides to further enhance the boot design Here's an example of the backdrop for XM that we used last year. So XM decided on a black backdrop with a white logo. So a black XM logo is also available for us to use, but of course it won't, it won't uh, do well with the black background. So the white logo was used. Then of course we had XM studios check whether they are happy with the position of the Great Toys logo together with the XM, whether the size is correct, the position of the logo is correct. So these things we have to check with the manufacturer. So we have to plan ahead of time with the manufacturer on the possible diorama. So for example, this is a San Diego Comic Con display for SH Figure Arts Street Fighter. So we should also start planning on the name tags as well as the size of the display area, the size of the display modules. Step five, one month before the event. So we need to secure the product samples, the prototypes, material checking, wood checking. Then we also need to prepare the name tags prepare promotional items to make sure that they they would arrive on time because um, uh, possible delays may happen, like example, port congestion, or maybe some problem with the factory. So a lot of things could happen and could delay the arrival of the samples. Recheck with parties involved, event security, organizer, contractor, LG, LGU. So Sometimes we need to secure permits, like example, oversized display boots would require uh, a six-wheeler uh, six truck. So we need to get uh, permits ahead of time. Of course, the, organ, uh, the exhibitor uh, would need to discuss with the organizer ahead of time to secure these permits to make sure that everything goes smoothly. Of course, we would also start to do um, information dissemination so start on spreading information in words on example product exclusives sales and promotional items etc so here's an example we are preparing the 
name tags for Bandai Collectors Edition Tamashii Nations and as well as Good Smile. So checking on everything, if the spelling is correct, the price is correct, whether the copyright information as well as the color and everything is correct. We also prepare example prices. This is XM Studios' uh, event exclusive uh, product price list. So we list some of the special event, event only exclusive products, as well as make sure that we secure the samples. Like example for, for XM Studio 2019 boot, we brought in the Batman, uh, Batman statue, which a lot of people really love. Prepare a diorama like here. This is a diorama of Avengers Infinity Wars. Then a few days before the event, we both the exhibitors and organizer uh, would have sleepless nights, uh, sleepless nights to to set up everything to make sure that everybody will have a wonderful uh, toy con show that includes boot building setting up everything etc so after a few days of hard work with, uh, with the organizer as well as the uh, as the exhibitor we will be able to finish the boot so everybody would enjoy it like here an example is i have here's the the a video that I, a short video that I created for ToyCon 2018. So this is the Bandai, this is, uh, we're featuring the Bandai Collector's Division Tamashii Nations booth. So set up the lights, made sure all the display racks are okay, all the display samples are properly positioned as well as the name tags. Okay, I don't know if we're waiting for a video, but uh, maybe we, we we're gonna we can put that on a little later on, Melvin. Because uh, parang naglalag ata yung uh, <laughs> naglalag ata yung ating uh, producer, so uh, we'll put on the, that last video later on. But thank you for sharing a, a very detailed. Uh, ano tawo dito? Halos yung mga trade secrets niyo shinare mo na. <laughs> how do you, how do you, uh, you deal with your partners and. Uh, all of the very important uh, preparation when it comes to, uh, I guess, uh, branding. And it's mahirap din kasi yung, yung trabaho mo working with international partners. It gets a little complicated, especially if they have their own uh, standards. Uh, you yeah. mentioned uh, ToyCon comes right before uh, San Diego Comic Con, which is always the case, di ba? ToyCon yeah. happens in June and SDCC happens in July. So sometimes there are some exhibit pieces that go on ToyCon first. People don't know this, ah, pero uh, dahil June ng ToyCon, our international partners sometimes exhibit, uh, parang sort of use ToyCon as like, uh, ano tawag doon? Parang preview nila for the big show, which is SDCC, di ba? So whatever exhibit they plan to put on SDCC, they will try it out in ToyCon, such as the case with, uh, I guess, Bandai. Is that correct, Malvin? Sometimes na una yung exhibit nila sa atin before they do San Diego. Mm, yes, yes, yes. So, so that can be that can be tricky, especially mm, yeah. kung standards sila when it comes to exhibits like these Japanese companies that Melvin has to deal with, like uh, Bandai, Good Smile, Bad Presto, uh, very high standards of exhibit, di ba? What what ba, Melvin? Ano yung parang isa sa mga pinaka uh, memorable mong experiences in setting up an exhibit for your partners? Because every year your your exhibit space just becomes bigger and bigger, diba? So, uh, uh, what what for you was your best? Parang, do you, would you remember what was your best exhibit for ToyCon? Uh, 
our best exhibit toy con is actually the Good Smile Bandai exhibit that we had uh, last year. Actually, it was a yeah. very high exhibit. Uh, it was at least uh, how many meters tall? That, that was really high. high. <laughs> uh, yeah, really high boot. That you know, you, you, uh, you could see the boot all the way up to the end of the the toy con hall. Actually, that's right. Oh, nga. Ganun siya ka, ano, ganun siya ka, ano tawag dito, yung scale was, was really a different level of scale. And uh, and a lot of people actually crowded to your booth uh, last year, 2019, because of XM. You added XM as a, one of your partners. Thus, the, these very premium statues were really uh, talagang eye-catching for a lot of people, no? So, uh um how long have uh how long have you been in partnership with xm actually we've been partners with xm since their very very first product i think it's almost 10 years already wow wow all right so uh hopefully in the years to come malvin and there will be more toy cons for you to uh really exhibit in sana talaga you can uh keep on bringing us these uh talagang uh these these lines uh that uh, I really catch a lot of attention, di ba? Uh, Chris, napuntahan yes. mo na yung ni, ano, the Great of Toys course. last year. Of course, yeah. yes. No? Uh, impossible, it's, it's impossible to miss it, eh, for one. No? I'm yeah. really drawn to it, all right? And uh, two things uh, stuck to me from, from Malvin's story, you know. One is uh, the Bikini Warriors, I searched them. So. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, Bikini Warriors, oh, I, okay. I, I don't know, but really what, what, what came to me was uh, their work as exhibitors, as, as sellers, is not just as simple as putting stuff on the shelves, see? No? Taba, taba. For, oh. for the customers, we go there, we look at it, and we say, oh, yung ganda, yung ganda. No? And we buy some stuff. No? But so much hard work was actually put into all of those. And, and, and thank you, no? thank you, Malvin, for always doing that with ToyCon. No? Thank you very much. Galing, galing. I keep looking up kasi nandito sa taas ko yung, ano, eh, yung mga oh, band press to taas ko. Eh. Diba? So uh, we are big yeah. fans oh, of... Right. Uh, we are big fans of the uh, My Hero Academia. Ayan, dito ako nakukuha kay Great Toys yung mga aking, uh, yung aking mga binha toys. <laughs> nice, so, nice. So, so uh, napasok pa. More of these, I know uh, the fan base is really just growing for uh, these types of toys. All right. So All right. maybe just to uh, add to, let's, let's add to the conversation. Let's bring in uh, Orly and uh, Jing back uh, in, the, in the mix here. And uh, well, I, have a, I have another presentation which I'd like to show you. And uh, let's see how many people we can fit with the presentation in, all right? So, uh, Jay, maybe you can put in just my... Uh, these are just pictures of uh, of previous toy cons. So I'd like to show people talaga from the start, at least in SMX, no, how we put the big show uh, together. And, well, let's do it this way. Uh, let's do it by year, all right? Starting with 2016, all right? So this is the, the very first ToyCon in uh, SMX 2016. And this was our first Uplife fan experience also. Now, if you remember Orly and uh, and Jing, no? uh, and Chris and Malvin, uh, we really didn't know what to expect in the in that first year, 2016. Hindi namin alam what the fan experience was going to be like. And uh, our partner, Poplife, through uh, MD Young, uh, we all know know and love MD uh, of Pop Life, diba? He kept telling us that this is going to be different from from any other show that we've ever put on in the Philippines because it's not just about bringing celebrities. Parang yun na alalang niya. It's not about just bringing celebrities. It's about the experience. Kaya nga fan experience yung tawag dun sa show. You are going to bring in not just celebrities, but you're going to make people experience how close they can get to a celebrity. And these pictures really show us how close they got. Diba? So for that year, we had Dean Kane, we had uh, Christian Nairn, uh, Mario Maurer, uh, sino to? Si Boba Fett? Ah, si Boba Fett. Tama, si Boba Fett, diba? Uh, uh, and this was really talagang... Uh, an eye opener for all of us, I guess, our very first year in in SMX. Uh, what do you remember from this year, guys? Sa akin, ako na mauna. Yes, 
Oh. Of course, si Dean Kay, nasa, nasa labas ako. Pag operations ka naman, nasa labas ka palagi monitoring the attendees. Tapos bigla na lang huminto sa ticket area na si Toycon booth. Si Dean Kay. Tapos nagpahinga lang doon na pagkwentuhan sa akin. Kung baka people are... Wow. Yes. <laughs> so may picture kami ni Dean Kay. People are dying to have a picture with him. Pero ako, Dean Kay uh, uh, stop and... And, and asked to have me. a picture with you. Tama ba, Orly? He no, asked to have a picture with you. Ako nag-ask. Ako nag-ask. Orly talagang. Nakita ko yung Baltus 5 na yan. Tingin ko, yes. uh, I'm proud to say that I'm the only person besides the construction worker na nagtayo yan na pumunta dun sa uh, itaas ni Baltus 5. So I have that picture in my slides shown. Ang gusto ko sana, sa shoulder, di ba? Kasi pag-ending ng Baltus 5, Nakaupo sila sa shoulder ni Baltus 5, oh. di ba? Yung sabi yeah, yung gusto yeah. kong effect, pero pinigilan ako ni ano. Hanggang ano lang, baka tumagsak daw, pinigilan ako. So hanggang, uh, hanggang arms lang ako ni Baltus 5. So those are memorable things, of course, na hindi ko makalimutan sa first SMX ni Toycon. Tapos, Jing, of course, I know you remember us putting together the Encantadia launch show. All right, this was the year na partner natin ng GMA, di ba GMA? And they were launching Encantadia. What are your memories of uh, that big Encantadia, <laughs> uh, di ba, uh, highlight for that year? Actually, yung, yung uh, uh, challenge during that time was uh, there were a lot of, of things at GMA, also, of course, uh, yeah. wanted, no? In, in terms of, uh, you know, how many, how many people should be there, uh, they have to see uh, enough audience also uh, yes, yes. to be there, no. So it was really a matter of balancing what they can actually give them and what we uh, may not be able to give them, no. And right, right. Fact, no, ang, ang, ang pinaka I think challenge during that time was uh, really managing the expectations of people as far as let's say their uh, exposure on stage. Uh, mm-hmm. how much time they would have to be on the stage because everybody wanted to be on the stage eh? of course even the even yeah. the sponsors no so uh yung pag puzzle yung mga puzzle pieces na yun yung kailangan mo silang lahat pag yan no uh is oh, really they brought in uh, they brought into their credit they brought in everybody they brought in the entire right. cast but yung mga but yung mga props di ba yung mga mascots kasama nila that was really a big production. And I, it, talagang after that, I really did not know how we pulled it off. That was just a yeah. <laughs> And of course, you remember that this was the time when we had Stan Lee, uh, the late Stan Yeah, Lee. all that. This one, uh, right? Yeah, this was, this was that time. And uh, uh, we, we were also having some technical... Uh, technical difficulties. <laughs> during that time, but it was also very successful. And, and, I, and I really... I really remember that every time we are able to stage a particular part that is important in the program, talagang napapabuntong hininga na lang ako ng thank you, Lord. Because we really, <laughs> we really don't know how we're, how we're able to actually pull this off without divine interve- intervention. It's really great. And that's Baltus 5, di ba, Orly? Ano yung pinakamemory oh natin kay Baltus 5 na yan? Well, yes, uh, alam ko marami nagalit sa first day kay Baltus 5. <laughs> <Our first day>. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi pa siya tayo. Pero ang backstory story nun, <laughs> nasa Hong Kong pa, nasa, nasa barko pa yung, ano, yung ibang parts ni Baltus 5. Marating pa lang sa, we, sa Pilipinas. We could not so, get the genie lift kung naalala mo. Di ba kailangan may lift talaga, may genie lift na nasa loob ng trade hall para maakyat namin yung pinaka yung pinaka-torso, yung pinaka-ulo ni Voltes 5, hindi namin napasok nung, nung buong Friday. Siguro gabi yeah. na ng Friday namin napasok. Kaya first day of Toycon, hindi pa buo si Voltes 5 talaga. Ano ba ito? Mangyayari ba ito? <laughs> buti na lang, di ba? Uh, itong, yeah. itong time na to, itong time na to yung na-prove natin that Toycon really is an established brand already. Uh, mm-hmm. This was the time when established naman na yung brand eh, pero I think this was the time when we were very confident that we can carry on a brand already. It's really nice. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. 
So of course, uh, we didn't know what to expect, di ba? Pero SM SMX to, it's a whole different scale. So maybe the next slide will show na maski paano, we were able to bring in people, di ba? And look at this crowd, di ba? This is what we generated uh, in our very first SMX. So this is really the heart of uh, ToyCon, which is our, our gallery, di ba? Yung exhibit space natin for all of the collectors. So this was where we hit on a particular formula na this has to be the center uh, of uh, of ToyCon, you know? Every year, uh, it has to be the gallery because this is where we started, eh? All of the collectors uh, showing off their collections, diba? So this was a this was a nice start for all of us. All right, so let's head to 2017. All right, 2017, our second year in SMX. Yeah, next slide. We had ayan, uh, this group. Sina Patre, ay, what's his face? Kevin Mac. Oh my God, nakakalimut ako yung mga names. Sina si Patre, si Pi Pirates of the Caribbean. Ayan, Ke Kevin McNally. Uh, Charlie Bruley, Karen Fukuhara, of course, from Suicide Squad, saka si uh, Lindsay McKeon. Ayan. At meron pa, a few more surprises. Okay, ito yung naalala ko about 2017. Guys, we had four stages. We had four stages. Ayan, and all of those stages are here. We had the main stage, where we had the ribbon cutting. Yeah. Then we had the creator stage. This is one of the yeah. things that Pop Life wanted for that year. Sabi nila, oh, we want to feature the YouTubers, the the influencers. Yeah. So they, had, they put up a separate stage in the second hall. And then we had a, a, an anime stage for some reason. We had a stage yeah. just to just to uh, feature uh, <laughs> some some uh, and Japanese stuff. And then we had our own Pipichugin stage. <laughs> we were managing four stages. I really don't remember anymore how we pulled through managing four stages. Naalala nyo ba yan, Orly? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Tengko na-enjoy ko yung, ano, eh, yung program <laughs> sa vloggers. Tapos tatakbo sa kabilang stage. Pero I was stung, ano, I was stunned by the beauty of Liza Soberana. Talaga yung security ni oh, Liza, yeah. di ba? <laughs> yun, yung, ano, yun yung tingin ko, that's one of the highlights of the toy. Kaya yung mga adobers, YouTubers natin yeah. na pumunta. Yun yung ang dami. We were you, Jing, during this time na apat yung stage natin? Kasi typically you would only run one show, di ba? One program, one show, but we had four stages. I, I'm pretty sure this year was memorable for you because you were managing more than one stage. Yeah, so yun stage natin, um, I think at uh, laging dalawa eh. One, the okay, let's go to the next slide. Uh, let's course. go to the next slide. Para lang makita nyo how we were doing this. Um... So yun, as, as Orly did mention, uh, it was not just the stages, it was what was happening on them. Because yun, the next slide would show na all, all of the stages were somehow pulling in a crowd. Hindi namin alam how yeah, we were able yeah. to do this. Diba? Chris, ikaw, event organizer ka, this is a no-no. If you have one oh. event, isa lang, isa lang ang focus ng event mo. But we had yeah. four stages yeah. in 2017. Sige, let's go to the next slide. Ayan, si uh, Orly na rin uh, mentioned na this this was really our highlight. Alright? Wait. Sige, next slide tayo, Jay. Ayan, it hang. Well, anyway, yeah, our big, ayan, our big highlight then was uh, Darna, of course. Eliza Soberano was the one, supposedly, was uh -huh. going to launch. Uh, we were going to launch Liza as the new Darna, so that happened. And then we had, uh, of course, the celebrities. The, mm -hmm. the international celebrities. Actually, if you remember, measure during the ribbon cutting, wala, na outshine talaga ni Liza yung, yung mga foreign guests natin. Oh my gosh. So, yeah. So, and then we had that, this year that we had that big Star Wars exhibit na nagkataon na Pop Life brought in some Star Wars stuff, but sabi nila, wala kaming ibang malagay, hindi a backdrop. Mabuti na lang, our friends from the 501st had this life-size 88 ATST vehicle na pinasok nila dun sa, dun sa Star Wars booth. Ano tong Viking ship na to? Oh, this was History Channel. History Channel partnered with us kasi this was the first year of the History Con. So they were they wanted ToyCon to be the launching pad for the History Con. So they brought in this Viking ship Ang dami nating setups nun. Orly, paano mo ginawa yun? Yes. <laughs> Talagang yung uh, uh, timing ng bawat pasok ng mga special setup, 
yun yung critical during that time ng pre-event. Kung baga, uh, yung spacing nila. Actually, may mga tinroboshoot tayo dyan nag-away na exhibitors ng special oh, setup. Wow. So, yun, yun yung mga side story niyan. At saka, sir, nakikita mo ba? First time na nil- is it Ali- Halimaw Sculpture, yung mga sculpture ni Darna, yan yung ano, eh, isa sa mga highlight din natin eh. Uh, yeah, yung uh, sculpture yeah. ni Hadarna, tsaka ni Captain Barbell, at tsaka ni Plastic Man, ando lumabas. So, talagang pinagkaguluhan din yun. Ayan, mm-hmm. that year we had Cartoon Network, and of course, this very controversial Darna. <laughs> people were... <laughs> People were asking. <laughs> ang, dami, ang dami na attract ng Darna yeah. na yan. Pero biglang pagkatapos magpa-picture ng mga tao, parang teka lang. <laughs> What was, do you remember the question? Yes. Not, ano, baka mamaya nanonood siya. Fan pala siya ng toy ko. Anyway, she was pretty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course, uh, Alodia was there. She won the Pinoy Pop Culture Icon Award. This was the very first year that we awarded uh, our Pinoy Pop Culture Icons. And Alodia was one of our... Uh, well, Alodia has been with us talaga for the longest time. So we thank you, Edgy, for uh, always gracing ToyCon. But this year, we gave her an award along with the creator of Darna, of course, uh, si Mars Rabilo, through his family who accepted uh, the award on his behalf uh, posthumously. So, ayan, yung next slide natin will show... Uh, just how much we grew from from that year. Ayan, no? So, uh, lumalaki talaga. Lumalaki tayo every year. Uh, and it was hard. Parang, or if you are coming in as an event organizer and you have to organize space, okay, yeah. diba Chris? I'm sure you you have to experience <laughs> with eh. Yes. People that merong, may, may algorithm. Ayan, may algorithm. May algorithm, yeah, man. May rhythm and algorithm. Uh, Efficient use of space because yes, it gets really yes, crowded. Yes. Uh, it gets really crowded. Ano pang memories yun ng 2017? Ayan, sige, before we go to uh, 2018. Yeah, But it was really so, yeah. In 2017, I guess among the years that we have been in SMX, 2017 embodies best yung, it's really a playground, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it had something for almost everyone, you know, every kind of geekdom, every kind of fandom. Uh, there was something for them, eh. You know, it was right, such a right. feast, you no? Know? So it was like uh, the perfect embodiment, I guess, of a playground where there are almost no rules, but there's just fun, you know. <laughs> And, uh, Galing, galing. That's actually the lesson that we learned because the next year, sige, let's go to the next slide. Mm-hmm. We actually thought about this parang we, this was like na parang nag soul search kami and we were yes. thinking what what is it that we what is our unique offer ano tawag doon oily what's the marketing term you USP. Uh, unique, selling no, unique selling proposition unique selling proposition it's our unique selling proposition and that was the tagline that we came up with it's a whole new playground yeah that was 2018 we came up with this tagline with already the mindset na parang ToyCon is not just an event. Uh, it's a playground. Yeah, and, uh, it's a place where people come together to play. And it's a different kind of play. It's not just, uh, you know, it's not just uh, you know, games or it's <laughs> it's not just uh, 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 toys or collecting. Because we were opened up to the idea that uh, people play in uh, many different ways all right mm-hmm. so this was a year where uh we really opened up the space parang kasi if it's going to be a playground then we really have to have everything there for for everyone all right so this is a and parang that the blank space here ayan, was just us setting up um uh, the gallery we had some really nice exhibit pieces and of course this was a year the very first year that we brought in the art toys at pumasok si quicks ayan uh just from the just from the poster makikita na natin na iba na yung parang iba yung hina-highlight na natin ngayon we were actually uh ano tawag dito we were trying to promote talaga our uniqueness and part of that flavor was really our being a Filipino event all right so we featured uh, Filipino toy designers uh and then of course we had the uh, our own line of guests of course pop La- pop life also brought in ayan next slide uh yes wow very well said Uwe. <laughs> it's when toycon became or started to feel that we were part of a community and so 
these were our guests for that year. Si Kelly Hu. Si Kelly Hu, if you Kelly remember, Hu. we, oh, we yes. only found out that she was going to be a guest nung nag-exhibitor briefing na tayo <laughs> a few days mm-hmm. before the, the main event. Doon lang namin nalaman na si Kelly Hu was going to be guesting. And this was also the year that we learned how to properly do a press con. Ayan, Jing. Baka you can, you can share, uh, di ba? Importante rin na we, we, we are able to uh, to put together something for our friends from uh, press and media, di ba? So, uh, nag-press con tayo <laughs> during the event. Um, sino pa ba to? Oh, we had Neil Adams, which is, uh, okay, well, of course, everybody uh, in the comics uh, world knows Neil Adams and uh, how big an impact that he made for for that convention. I like this picture in particular when he's together with all of our local, renowned local artists. Uh, so si Neil Adams surrounded by the likes of Lenny Liu, si uh, Carlo Pagulayan, Stephen Segovia, uh, Hubert Rian Galeng. Uh, that was a very nice uh, photo op. Sino ba tong Walking Dead na to? Naalala mo yung pangalan nito early? <laughs> kamukha lang yan, kamukha lang na artist. Oh, marami tayong naloko nung year na yun. Akala namin, akala namin, dumating yung artist, yung, yung bida sa Walking Dead. But he was actually just a look-alike. Uh, a cosplayer oh, brought in. <laughs> Galing niya. Galing niya. Uh, ano, sir? Ito yata yung simula nila. Yes. Offer na tayo na exclusive Toycon merch ba? Yeah. Na art yeah. toys, eh. Yeah. Yan yung start talaga ng Art Toys exclusive toy con. And, and Michael, Michael Coppon was here. Michael Coppon. Correct. Ayun, no? Right, right. Oh, yung Power Rangers natin. Next slide. So this was something na I almost forgot, but this actually happened. Yeah. <laughs> I was not there when this happened because parang hindi ko nga, do you remember what this was called? So, of course, Pop Life being a uh, the very uh, what do you I said, uh, what's the word ostentatious <laughs> uh, company that they are. Sabi nila, let's level up, let's bring in a K-pop artist. So yeah. this is Yo Yolin, is that Yolin. 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 Yolin? Yolin, and she was part of a girl band in Korea known as Sisters. Sisters. Okay. Sisters. 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 All right. Siya ang ano raw? Beyonce of Korea. Of K-pop. Yeah. Do you remember what this was called? But it sounds something. We. <laughs> it mm, sound stage. Oh, sound stage. Sound stage. Sound stage. Sound stage. <laughs> sound stage. Yeah. And then and then, Apple, and then she Apple the app, and he actually launched yung bago nilang singer for uh yeah. for Black Eyed diba? That that girl who yeah. actually eventually went on to become. Uh, the, the new lead singer for Black Eyed Peas. So mm-hmm. this was a, a different experience altogether. We were playing around because, parang, yun nga, because it's a whole new playground. We were thinking, na parang, Sige, let's bring in everything for everybody. you know. So, mm-hmm. uh, well, that was 2018. So, uh, yeah, and soundstage by yon us. <laughs> so that's, that was amazing. All right. Uh, and of course, our... Uh, our 2019 ToyCon. Sige, let's uh, let's move on to uh, our final few slides. Uh, 2019, of course, was the year where we went full on international. All right, next slide. Yeah. Ayan. So 2019 was when we first. The first thing we did was to redesign our logo because we wanted to gain some sort of relevance to a new audience. Can maybe J, maybe Jing, you can explain. Why we needed to sort of bring in a new identity for Toycon at that time? Kayo ni Orly, kayo ang marketing gurus. Actually, I think the, the logo also came in appropriate because we also had uh, to professionalize already the Toycon. You know? um, right, right. I think this is the time when we had the vision and the mission already, you know? and we wanted a a uh, an international flavor. To to Toycon, and uh, we wanted something now uh, will also be uh, readying us for our twentieth year. So this was the this was the time that we're trying to launch already, you know, uh, and getting ready for our twentieth year. And this was really uh, I, I I mean feeling ko, uh, this was really our best setup. 
Orly, correct me if I'm wrong. Huh? This was the year when Toycon looked its best <laughs> in terms uh, of the branding. Agree, well, agree. 2017 yata o 20, yung may, may virtual show tayo sa taas. Yung mga cosplayers tuntuan dahil meron tayong mga oh, yeah, virtual yeah. background. Oh. Right, right. So yun yung uh, yeah, yeah. Ang, ang highlight nito is yung pagkabago ng logo natin. Yes. Right, right. Uh-oh. Yes. When we had a brand, you know, brand DNA change talaga. Brand, yeah. Identify tayo sa sa mga millennials na parang hindi na sila maka uh, hindi na relevant yung logo ni Toyko. Parang ganun yung lumabas sa findings right. natin. So, we were forced to oh, evolve. Man. And this was the year that we actually uh, made a deliberate choice that we were going to showcase ourselves to the international community. Yes. Diba? So we we brought in a lot of international toy designers. Ayan, nanunod si Louie and he's really a big part of this. Let's, let's show the next few slides. Um, sige, your next slide dito would show uh, our celebrities for that year. Uh, of course, our local celebrities were there. We had our, our guests from uh, ano tawag dito? Um, yeah, yung, yung local zombie movie. <laughs> Our local. Uh, zombie. We had, we had, yeah, we had uh, Claude. Uh, uh, Black yeah, City. Yeah, yeah Black, Black Z. Z. Right. Black Z, <laughs> ito, ito. Uh, yeah. and, uh, Black Z was there. And then we had Black the Walking Dead. Uh, okay. Walking Dead. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, ano tawag dito? Si Ron English was there uh, representing, uh, I guess, the 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 toy designers that we brought in, all right? And very interesting space that we set up. Uh, ayan, next, next slide natin. The setup that we had on the second floor, which was the digital hub. Actually, halo halo. It was the digital hub. It was uh, the, 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 well, this was, a, yeah, this was, was this uh, also part of the toy gallery? Ay, de, de, iba pala, iba pa pala ang space. Uh, so tama, the toy gallery was here no, in the in the second floor. The digital yeah. hub were up front. And this was a really interesting space. We had a small stage up there. And uh, we were running two programs again. We were running two programs at the same time, one sa baba and, and uh, another one upstairs. But I think, uh, yeah, the, 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 the Toycon Gallery was put up here. So we, were, uh, we were still experimenting, but I think it was a, a, an interesting <laughs> experiment. And it succeeded to a certain extent. Diba? Chris, and Jen, uh-huh. you know, yeah, oh. we had the world of dance here. Eh? World of dance. Remember, we had the world of dance also here. Yes. Oh. The world of dance. Memorable yun yung Indians champion natin sa world of dance. Memorable. <laughs> and uh, I guess the, the last slide would show really the the highlight of uh, that year, 2019, which was really our international toy designers. So, yeah. so uh, uh-huh. of course, this is something that we will replicate again because we just had so much fun bringing in uh, this this group of uh, toy designers, diba? the likes of uh, uh, sino ba to? Yeah, sino Jessica Emmett. Uh, Emmett, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, and of course, even our local artists got a uh, good ano tawag, did exposure to the international community. Our friends like si, si Creon Chicken, ayan, si Carlo Cacho, of course, si Wetworks, very established now. First and Cholo, ang background nun, tayo ang naging driver ng mga artist natin papunta ng hotel, ha? <laughs> Lalo ba yun? <laughs> All around. <laughs> yun ang malupit doon. All around tayo. And of course, all of these toys which were launched as uh, event exclusives, which are so hard to find now. Ang dami taong nagsipisi ngayon na hindi, where they were not able to get the OG buck. Ayan, di ba yung kay Creon Piken? Ang dami naghahanap niya. <laughs> uh, and all of the other uh, exclusives that we featured for ToyCon 2019. So, a lot of great memories. And of course, as I mentioned, uh, it's important. It's a... Uh, it's a lot of uh, work, a lot of hard work to just uh, bring this all together. Ayano, may complete list si Louis talaga. Hello, Louis. 
acknowledge ayan so let's acknowledge all of those uh toy designers that we featured for that year quick sweatworks ada toy yoy tama si yoy hurricane creon chicken head happy garage daniel yu fanny cow mombot russia toys j1 case messy maru mupa non world cm roof tangent and two natako that's right so uh yeah so that's how that's as far as we've been but uh what do you think guys what's next for toycon <laughs> what we were supposed to uh have toycon this year 2020 two weekends from now that's the date that we set june 25 to 27 all right that was our toycon date so in the next few shows that we will have hopefully leading up to uh that weekend I don't know. Maybe I I just like to end before we uh before we get to our contest. There are many time prizes that we're giving away now. Uh, what? Diba what's that exercise that we usually do? Parang stop, start, and continue. Stop, start, continue. Stop, start, continue. Okay. Ano ba yung mga dapat nating uh uh? Nde, siguro wag naman stop. Because there, I I don't think there's anything that we really want to stop when it comes to the 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 types of attractions that we do but, but what do we want to continue and what do we want to start siguro if there's something new that we want to add to toycon so yeah let's start with you orly ano ba yung mga naisip pong mga kailangan matuloy natin at uh, mga bago natin pwedeng i-offer for toycon well there's a mga fans right now just want to inform you we are i'm involved but sa mga policy making right now for for exhibition and where the government uh, we are still uh, negotiating with the government to have the last quarter as the first phase of exhibition or and conferences first phase meaning a portion of a, a, a show can run already parang uh, we are trying to uh, get away identify exhibition and conference as part of mass gathering of course we already submitted our protocols so possible, cross figures, uh, mag magkaroon tayo ng event, uh, i-allow na ng government na magkaroon ng exhibition sa last quarter, like November or December, pwede na tayo mag-conference ex exhibition. Pero sa akin, ang what, anong bago sa Toycon? Because of the new normal, we are already acquainted with digital, it will become a blended event. <laughs> blended. <laughs> Diba? <laughs> Panayin na tayo sa gandong platform. Yung mga matatanda, sanay na rin. Dati ayaw natin to. Pero ngayon, we're so acquainted. It's already a blended event for Toycon. We can reach the world na talaga. So, in a uh, staging event. So, meron tayo Toycon Digital and Toycon Physical Event. And you were saying, uh, you, there are some events that have already started this trend of doing virtual, diba? Virtual yes. events, virtual conventions. I went, I, I was able to do three exhibitions to, this year. Huh? I went to Dubai, to Ooh. Dubai, to uh, U UK, and of course, recently to Thailand Toy Fair. <laughs> Thailand Toy Expo was completely yeah. virtual. That was virtual. Uh, well, uh, an experience, but I, I, I'm not sure if that will work for us. Because especially tayo, Filipino tayo, eh. Diba? We want to, you know, we want to makipag halubilo. Gusto natin, we are next to our fellow yeah. collectors. And, uh, Hindi pa rin mapapalitan yun. Pero sa ano eh, sabi nila ng Visa, MasterCard, sa data, we uh, generated 44 million transactions online. Transaction na yung bilihan. 44 million transactions in a period of three months. So, if that data proves anything, that is Filipinos are already uh, willing to do a digital uh, payments, contactless payment talaga. Yun na talaga yung way to go. Kaya kumbaga, may possibility. Pero again, hindi kayo palitan ng physical event. Malvin, ikaw, what, what are your next big plans? Without, of course, uh, uh, giving any spoilers, pero may mga plano ba ang, ano, ang uh, great toys for the next ToyCon? Which you can reveal. Uh... Of course, plan namin is always to bring uh, international guests, possibly from Japan. Uh, we uh, currently, well, we're we're we have we're talking of bringing one of the uh, great great creators or maybe one of the popular actors, yeah, to bring over. So that's something that we want to uh, continue in uh, to to make the plan a reality in 2021. 
boy, great, great. That's amazing. All right, we look forward to that. What about you, Jing? Nako, given your experience, your long time experience, and uh, I guess also your vision of what can be, you know, uh, in the context of what Orly mentioned, no? how do you think we can grow Toycon from here? Um, I, I think you know, I think international branding is something that I'm very excited about. Uh, that that branding of where Asia comes to play is really something that yeah. I'm really very excited about. You know? um, I think we can we, we need to continue um, developing that brand. Uh, parang I think we want to be a toy. Parang the toy hub, eh. parang ganyan, no? parang we want to be the toy convention of of Asia where everybody comes in at this particular time. No? Uh, but at the same time, also I'm very excited that uh, there are a lot of local talents that we're highlighting in terms of yeah. uh, design, in terms of you know all of these things that we're 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 trying to build in terms of com of the community. And speaking of the community. I think that's that's something that I think is really unique about us. No? Um, let's continue to build a community. Let's not forget uh, the heart of ToyCon, which is really, you know, uh, bringing together people who uh, have the same interests. This is where you can be who you are. You can be uh, with like-minded people. You can, you know, you can be crazy and you can be weird with 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 anyone here, you no, know, and without any judgment. And I think that's that's. It's part of the charm of Toycon. Parang when you come here, wala, walang judgment. Eh. You can be weird. You can be whatever. Who you am. Kahit na alter ego mo ang pumunta dyan, okay. That's fine with us because that's actually where, it's actually what we're, we're, what we're here for. No? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Chris, I'll let you have your say also because you were in very much involved in the last two Toycons and uh, you've yeah. seen how you've grown. Uh, what for you? You think what's the future of of Toy God? Uh, um, well, siguro dun sa, sa continue muna na para following the framework. Uh, just like what what Jing mentioned, it's really about highlighting more the Filipino, the Filipino ness no, of, of things, uh, Filipino talents. And actually, we've been doing that throughout Toy God TV. No? Uh, right, simula right. na natin eh. Uh, Unintentionally, but also, of course, and the new one, eh, serendipitous uh, element mm -hmm. of it. No? So that's one thing we could continue. And also, like what Orly mentioned, the platform now, the time now, does allow us to really reach out to that region and say the Philippines is, and the, the, the Toycon Philippines is the hub, really, you know, for Asia. We don't have to spend as much and bring people in. Di ba? Wala masyadong iahatid si Orly sa mga hotel. <laughs> it can be a blended set of things. No? And, and that yeah. brings happiness to, to a lot of people. And I'd like to take this opportunity to really thank you veterans, no? as you had mentioned. I've been going to ToyCon as a fan. And then luckily, thankfully, uh, Cholo had, had brought me in to help out. Uh, but I re always remember the no, field of dreams. No? Uh, if you build it, they will come. And that's what ToyCon has done, really. No? You built, we built stuff, and thankfully, people have come. No? And uh, we'll be building more. We'll be dreaming more. Yeah. yeah. Because What's of that, we're going to All right. Yeah. Let's give some stuff. All right. So we're going to prepare the prizes. For tonight, uh, so hopefully people are still tuned in to us. Ayan. So first, we're going to give out. Yeah, and pinakita na itong mga two mga little trick. Uh, ano ba to? Little trickers. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Box, yeah. box para makita niyo kung anong laman nito. These are these uh, are blind box yeah. tests. Uh, ayan. Ang kito. Yeah, no? ano? Hindi ano to? At uh, ayan, no? mga wow. mga mga art toys. Oh, art Yun ang, yun ang laman nito. Ayan, all of these, uh, so blind box siya. And we are giving out four of these. So, uh, baka gusto nyo mag, magtanong ng isang uh, trivia question. Uh, Sige, kayo, kayo magtanong. Basta the first uh, four to give the correct answers gets to win uh, uh, one each of these uh, Trekkies toys. Ayan, dami natin pamimigay for tonight. Wow. These are just some of the prizes. All right. You know? Yeah, pero ito muna. Just for these, okay. So, mag-isip mag kayo ng trivia questions ninyo. Do you have one, uh, Jing? Meron ka? Uh, sige. Uh, 
Ako may isa. Which, uh, Wait, not, tayo. Sino, sinong artist ang nag-fulfill ng kanyang cosplay dream and she fulfilled it sa ToyCon? Wow, that that goes way back, no? Hindi lang to, hindi lang to wow. 2016 uh, onwards. This was, <laughs> sabi na natin yung year 20. Ano ba yon? 2013. 2013. 2013. Yeah, 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 Dream to become a cosplayer. At ginawa niya sa ToyCon. Alright, so that, that's our uh, first question. Sige, sagot kayo. <laughs> uh, just comment on the Facebook feed. Who is this mainstream local celebrity who fulfilled her uh, dream to become a cosplayer and did it in ToyCon? May clue yeah. na. Her. Sabi, her. Yeah. Oh, yung mga pala. Bagong kasal. Ayun, no? Lumabas na agad. Bagong kasal. Ayun. Dagas. <laughs> Dagas. All right. Meron na, meron na atang uh, nakakuha ng sagot. Oh, meron na. Okay, sige nga, let's reveal. Let's reveal sino yung artist na yon, uh, Jing. That's uh, Sarah Heronimo. Yeah, wow. Sarah Heronimo. I think that was 2012. Ayan, no. Okay, so Jing. Ano yung manan niya? Ano character niya? Character niya, she she had a uh, she had her own character. Ayan. Oh, eh. Parang, it was, uh, parang, ano. So, it was her own character. It was a unique character. So, congratulations, Mr. Gerard Bondo, for winning. You gave, you were the first to give the correct answer. Sarah Hieronimo. Correct. All right. Sige. So, 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 principal lang, ano. Yes. Christmas party ng fan ko yan, ha? <laughs> ano? The principal. Di ba si Gerard? Yung principal oh, sa, ano? Yeah. Oh, yan. <laughs> VIP natin yan, Gerard yes. Bondo. Definitely. Sige, ikaw naman. Orly, tanong ka. Ako? Anong uh, birthday ni Voltis 5? <laughs> Ayan, sinabi mo yun. Ayan. Birthday ni Voltis 5. Tapos sa ko ito. Uy, what's that? Ba? Yes. Ano say? O oh, sige. Okay, Ron English. Ron English. Uh, Propaganda. Oh, oh. Ayan ha? Ah. Wow, wow. Oh, Blind oh. boxing. Ayan Ayan na, sa na, na. Ko, nabuksan okay. ko na eh, para hindi ko alam yung parts, para makita nyo. O oh, sige, yan ang price mo ha. Ayan. Oy, nice, nice. Okay. Very nice. Alright. So, anong birthday so, ni Voltis 5? Anong birthday ni Voltis 5? Clue, ka-birthday niya si Orly. <laughs> yes, pero hindi yung year. Voltis 5, alright. Gemini <laughs> kami ni Voltis 5. Gemini. <laughs> alright. Ayan, marami na sumagot. Who's I? Very Ayun, good, no? very good. May nanalo na. O, oh, dami. Paano yan? Nanalo na. So, the Jay, answer is... Ikaw mag-decide, Jay. Ano yung answer, Orly? Ang answer, pwede yung ano lang, month at date lang. Kasi June 4, 1977. What? A lot of people also got that. Pero actually, uh, we were just looking for the month and the date. Oh, so month and date. Before. Ayan na. Sabi ni Jay, ang nanalo ay... Celeste? Tama ba, Jay? Celeste Climena. Wow. Congratulations. Si Celeste Climena. Sige, makakatanggap ka rin ito. Aside from your price, makakatanggap ka pa rin ito. Nice. Wow. So, dalawang, dalawang price. Alright. Melvin, ikaw naman. May, may sarili ka bang price, Melvin? Pwede ba sa Melvin? I, I have two wow. prices here. Madami yan, si Bossy. Isa muna, isa muna. Wow! Arch Undertaker. Aba! Okay, so sali na kami. Excuse me. For the past, well, for the recent years, we moved the ToyCon date to the later part of the month, later part of June. But yeah, yeah. long ago, a few years ago, ToyCon was always held on as uh, the second day of ToyCon, or second or third day of the ToyCon, was always hold, yeah. held oh, on a I special did, celebration yeah. day. A special day, oh, right. And a special day. A special celebration I, day. This day is not, hindi siya birthday, hindi siya birthday ng tao. 
it's a day we're celebrated by everybody, by right. the family. Ano yung day na yun? Always coincided with uh, us. Ano yung day na yun? Kakulay, kakulay. What was that day? All right. For an SH Figure Arts undertaker, my God. Ang ganda ng premyo. Okay. So, yan ha. Uh, that's the prize and... Uh, in, okay, we're not asking ano yung date ng Toycon. We're just asking what is the celebration that usually coincided with uh, Toycon uh, back uh, in the day, you know? not in the recent years, but back in the day. Back All right, day. I think somebody got the correct answer already, and of course, the answer is Melvin. Uh, the answer, the answer is actually Father's Day. Yes, Father's uh, Day. Uh, Boy, next weekend, uh, Diane. Happy Father's uh, Day. <laughs> Yeah, for the longest time, but always the Sunday after ToyCon is always ah, the, the second day of ToyCon is yeah. Father's Day. Yeah. That's right, that's right. Yeah. So uh, a lot of people thought Independence Day, hindi. Pero ah, okay. <laughs> William Ko, congratulations. <laughs> you guessed, uh, guessed correctly. So you won uh, an SH Figure Arts Undertaker. Wow. And uh, and one of these two, Ayan, yeah, congratulations! Wow, so, wow! Again, prizes natin tonight. Oh, may prize, may prize karen, Chris. Hey, kung nakapatid ang magbigay ng tanong from your ano, from your sharing. Yes, sige, sige. Yeah, I think si Malvin has one more. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Two, Malvin, right? Okay. Sige, ah, sige. Okay. Tayo. Ano oh, lang to? Robot spirits camper. Okay, excuse me, pagchasagot lang ako. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. What great toys do we have? Okay. Okay. Uh, last year at the Great Toys booth, we celebrated an anniversary of a special, very special Japanese robot. I mentioned because of presentation. It was the yes. yeah. It was a special anniversary last year. It was a special anniversary of this very famous Japanese super robot. So, which Japanese super robot line? Oh, it's a line. It's a yes. robot uh, line. It's a, it's a robot line. Uh, yeah, it, line. Yeah, it's a line. Yeah, I mentioned to sa. Ayano. Kapi na pa nood kisa ano Netflix sa. Oh, clue na yun ni. Eh. Paki type yung correct answer sa chat natin para malaman ni Jay. Uh, so mm -hmm. type in the in the chat what's the correct answer. So he will be on the lookout uh, for the Dami correct answer among those people. Dami si Masa ko. Voltes five then, you know. Last year to 2019. Voltes five. Kailan ba yung 40th anniversary ni Voltes five? Di ba? Was that 2018? Yung ano yung Voltes? 2017. 17. 17. 77. Eh. Ah, alright. Right. Right. Eh. <laughs> Ayan. So it was the 40th anniversary of what particular uh, robot line? Okay. Ayan na. So, congratulate. Wait. Uh, the correct answer, of course, is Melvin, do the honors. Uh, uh, the, the correct answer is, of course, uh, Gundam. Mobile Suit Gundam. It celebrated oh, 40 Gundam. years last year. Uh, yeah. Alright. And mm -hmm. our winner, ayan, basahin mo nga, Chris, the name of our winner oh, right. is? And our winner is Mr. Brenz Bautista. Who's that? Regular din natin right. yan, si Brenz. Brenz Bautista. Uh -huh. Congratulations. Yeah. Who's that? Yeah. Meron pa tayong isang prize, yung ano, yung, I think, ano, hindi ko alam what that was, pero yung parang Millennium Falcon. Can you can you post that, uh, Jay? Ito, kasi uh, pinamimigay din ni, uh, ni courtesy of Toycon. I don't know what it was. Can you can we look at that again? Parang there's a Millennium Falcon. Uh, wow, Millen hindi yung Millennium Falcon na ano? Na Hasbro. Ma at uh, <laughs> but there was a prize that was uh, that we well one last siguro siguro. So for one of these also and the uh, the Millennium Falcon, maybe we can project that again, Jay. Uh, sige, ano yung tanong? Um, sige, in 2019. We uh, we had a tagline, diba? So 2018, our tagline was uh, uh, what? <laughs> uh, the our playground. Uh, Asia a comes to play. Then, then, you play. Then, 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 then,
<laughs> okay, okay, okay. Sige, palitan natin yung tanong. Palitan natin yung tanong. Okay. Kanina, pi, kanina finlash ni Louie uh, yung uh, kung ilan, yung, kung sino yung mga toy designers that we invited Our for toys. 2019. Yes. All right. Just give the names of two foreign international toy designers who attended uh, ToyCon 2019. All right. Two in foreign, uh, two foreign uh, toy artists. Okay. Dapat ba kapatid correct spelling? Kasi... Sana, sana correct spelling. Isa yung toy spelling. All right. So, uh, Ayan, 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 for, uh, yung Millennium Falcon na prize. Ay, yeah. Flash naman, Jay, if you can find the picture of the prize again. I think it was it was one of the pictures dun sa last slides that uh, you showed. Two foreign uh, artists, to, art toy designer, ayun. Non-Filipino. <laughs> Non-Filipino. Non-Filipino, foreign artist. Hindi ka pwede sumali nyo. Hindi ka pa uwi, ha? Ha! Ikaw na organize ito. Bawal ka sumali. There, okay. So there, yan, yan, yun. That price over there. Whatever that is. <laughs> I think it's a million, Millennium Falcon na, I don't know, launcher siguro yan. Alright? So, yun, for that one. So, uh, just name two. And I think, yeah, we have several already. Uh, and, ayun, yun. I think meron nang nagbigay. Ayun! Okay, so, uh, ayan, I think we have a winner already. Sige, paki-flash na lang, Jay, uh, if we have, uh, if we agree on uh, who is our, ano, who is our winner. If I'm not mistaken, let me see. Uh, yung tama, sana wala ko na, wala ko na skip. Bandai Melan yung Falcon, hindi, hindi Bandai. <laughs> Mahal <yun. laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, hindi kasama si Quicks. Okay, wait. Uh, let me see if we have... Uh... All right. If I'm not mistaken, our winner is... Si Louie. Si Louie. Wala. Wala na. Hindi, meron, meron. Ito. Meron. Ang sagot niya, Ron English and Jessica Emmett. Tama naman yun. Okay. So, Ron English, Jessica Emmett, uh, other, uh, ayan. Ito. So, congratulations to, tama ba? Ito ba yan? Siya ba yung una? May nauna ata eh. Ay, may una? Parang hindi siya yung una. Hindi siya yung una eh. <laughs> si ano? Oh, Jay, si ano muna, Jay? Si Jay makakapagsabi eh. Oh, meron tayong, meron kasi tayong, uh, what, SGV. Ayun, nababas na. <laughs> For the winners. Yeah. Right. Right. No wait, the si Crayon Chicken is not okay. is not an international artist. Local, oh, local si Crayon. Okay. Local si Crayon. All right. Tama. So hindi siya yung ano ba yung isa? Sabi ko ba eh? Tama yung okay. isa. Tama yung isa. All right. Si Lex nga. All right. So correct. Okay. So si Lex. Si Lex De La Torre. There you go. Lex De La Torre answered that Jessica Emmett and Ron English. Congratulations. You get to win that uh, Falcon toy and that uh, ito rin, yung parang ano, Tuma toy. All right. All right. So uh, that's about it. Before we let go of everybody, maybe some final few shout outs and uh, uh, acknowledgements from our guests for tonight. Starting with you, Orly. <laughs> yes, uh, of course, sa lahat ng mga fans ng ToyCon, uh, please be patient and pray na of course, we uh, makakuha tayo ng cure sa, sa ating uh, niranasang pandemic. And see you soon. Okay, see you soon. If yeah. not this year, definitely next year. So stay your the child in you. Yun lang. Marvin, ikaw naman. Yeah, same thing also. Sana maayos na itong COVID-19 na uh, pandemic that we are experiencing now. Siyempre, masaya rin maglaro ng, ng toy. But mas masaya talaga pag if you play with all your friends and all the yeah. fellow collectors together. Yun talaga nakaka-enjoy talaga as a cool community. Mas masarap talaga maglaro pag everybody's happy and uh, enjoying. 
And of course, you can still visit Great Toys online. Kaya nga Great Toys online ng pangalan nila, eh, di ba? Melvin, i-plug mo na ba ng where, where we can order uh, these latest new toys from uh, Great Toys? Where can we find you online? Yes, you can check our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Great Toys as well as our website, www.greattoysonline.com. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Birthday ba ni Jules Christopher Dedoro? Happy birthday. <laughs> okay. And ikaw naman, Jing. Any final messages? Yeah, we're very excited to see you again. And uh, we would like to thank you for supporting ToyCon along the years. Uh, may we continue to be hopeful that things will get better. I'd also like to acknowledge, of course, people who are able to stage the big show with us. Of course, we cannot do this without our friends from Anime Alliance. They are yes, a big yes. part of the show, and uh, I'd like to thank uh, them for uh, helping us stage this big show. So for the ToyCon community, uh, we are very excited to see you again. And hopefully sooner than later. Chris, any final words? Yes. Well, you know, unfortunately, you know, uh, ToyCon can't be an SMX this month, no, but that's not a worry. ToyCon is online and also ToyCon is in your heart. So, nice. Pretty, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, 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 sorry. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of posts of people saying that they miss ToyCon. They miss ToyCon this year. You know what? We miss you too. <laughs> we'll miss you and we'll keep on missing you. But until then, there's always ToyCon TV. So I guess let's uh, close the show tonight by showing, hopefully, Jay Redica. We were close the show with the, the way we end, with the, with the way we started it by by our by our ToyCon TV jingle. Can we show the yes. ToyCon TV jingle again? All right. And thanks again to uh, the ToyCon TV jingle creators, the, uh, Enzo Mediavilio. Thank you to Arwen Malilian for uh, Arwen making Malilian. it. And we'll see you all again you, next week for another great episode of ToyCon TV. Thanks a lot for joining Bye. us tonight. Magandang gabi and thank you. Bye. 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 See you next week. See you next week. Oh, hindi daw kaya. Bakit hindi kaya? Hindi daw nila kaya ma-play ulit yung ToyCon TV chip. All right. Akapela na lang natin to. Akapela na lang. Okay. Ah, ganun ba? All right. Okay. So again, we'll do it again next week. We'll show it all again. And thank you, J.M. Flores. Advance Happy Father's Day to you all also. We'll see you all again for ToyCon TV next Saturday at 8 p.m. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye. Stay safe. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.